Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for showing up today in QuickBooks Point of Sale. Today we are going to talk about multi-rate tax codes or multi-rate collecting multi-rate taxes. I guess what this really is is in certain portions of the country, uh, I know in my state in Minnesota where I'm at, your county taxes and your city taxes and your state taxes all of those sales taxes go to the state and the state takes care of dispersing them and that's great it's wonderful you only need one tax rate so that's that's great but there's other parts of the country where you may actually pay one portion or one percentage to the state you might pay one to the county and you might pay one to the city or something like that and it's it's very complicated you have to write three different checks and so here is how we are going to do a multi-rate tax collection before we jump into that i'm going to have you click on the description down below click on the link get over to our quickbooks point of sale facebook group you can join up there you can ask any question you want to other members we have tons of members in the group and they are waiting to answer your questions as am i i will be in there answering questions as well so i look forward to seeing you there click on the link down below also if you're on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe today to get all the latest, greatest QuickBooks point of sale videos coming out all the time. Let's do this. I am going to mention that on the setup interview, I have already filled this in from the first video, the simple sales tax. This is all you can do, just a single sales tax uh, on the setup interview. But this is more complicated. I just wanted to mention that because when we get to the tax portion of the preferences here, you're gonna see that there's already one set up. It's gonna to talk to QuickBooks here for a moment. And then we can see that I have my Minnesota Department of Revenue 6.875. Now let's pretend that my local county also wanted me to pay them some sort of special tax. Like I said, normally, or in Minnesota anyway, uh, Minnesota grabs all of it and pays back the county or the city. But let's say you're in one of those other states where you have to, maybe you pay a local parish or something. I've heard that term as well in helping people. So I'm going to edit the actual tax code. I'm not going to edit the non because that's for non-taxable items. So I'm going to edit the tax code here. I'm going to leave this the same. It's tax, tax. It's it's marked as T on the receipt. I'm going to hit next. Now, instead of this being a single rate tax, I am going to choose multi rate tax. I'm hitting next, and we already have the 6.875 here for the Minnesota Department of Revenue. And I'm also going to add another tax component. And this component I'm going to call county. And the tax agency will end up as a vendor in QuickBooks Accounting. So this could be Carver County, let's say. And Carver County wants them sales that are taxable, which is my tax code of tax. And you can keep adding more and more rates if you like for your parish and your county and your city and whatever. And then in QuickBooks, I'm going to assign that to the code of tax. Now I'm going to hit finish. You're going to see that we've got 6.875 heading to the Minnesota Department of Revenue. And I have a half a percent, which is going to be put in a bucket and paid to Carver County. And I'm just going to go ahead and save that. And we're going to pop on over to the make a sale screen. I don't think I have any items in this point of sale. So I'm just going to sell a miscellaneous item. And I think that's automatically taxable. Let's say it's a hundred bucks. Keep it simple. Hit OK. Now down here we can see that seven dollars and thirty-eight cents is going to go to uh, well, it's going to be split up and dispersed among those two different entities. Uh, it doesn't say here who the entities are or where it's going, but there you have it. We have a multi-rate tax code, and so you can pay your multiple different taxing agencies i guess my name's peter with blackrock business thanks for coming along in this uh, multi-rate tax journey oh my gosh taxes are our favorite thing not <laughs> you have yourself an excellent day bye bye now